Welcome to Hot Shots. In this lesson, I am learning to work out percentages of amounts. Um, let's imagine I've been standing at the entrance to a stadium, and while I've been standing there, 72 people have walked in. 72. And of those 72 people, 18 were dressed in black. I want to work out what that is as a percentage. Well, one way I can do that is by drawing a double number line. Now, I know a percentage is out of 100, so I'm going to write in 100 there. So this end here must be 0. A good way to remember that a percentage is out of 100 is that if you look at the percentage sign, you can see that as a 1, that is a 0, and that is a 0. Now the total amount of people that walked in were 72. So if 72 people were dressed in black, um, that would be 100%. So on the top of my number line, I'm going to write 72 up here, because I'm saying 72 would be equivalent to 100%. So since I know 72 would be 100%, I should be able to work out what 50% would be. It's going to be half of 72. And I know that half of 72 is 36. So now that I know half um, or 50%, I should be able to work out 75% because that's going to be halfway in between here, and I should also be able to work out 25% because that's going to be halfway between 36 and 0 or half of 36. Well, I know half of 36 is 18. So you can see from my double number line that 18 out of 72 is the same as 25 out of 100, or 25%. Let's imagine um, now that I'm setting a test, and this uh, test is out of 20 questions, and in this test I get 15 correct. I want to work out what that is as a percentage. Well, just like last time, let's draw a double number line. I'll put 0 at the top down here, and, and I'll write in 100% down this end. Well, if I got 20 questions out of 20 right, that would be 100%, so I'll put my 20 up here. Now, just like last time, it's going to be really easy to work out what 50% would be, because it will be half of 20, which means it must be 10. Now, just like last time, it's easy to work out what 25% is, because it must be half of 10. So that means it must be 5. Now, 75% is just as easy to work out. There's a couple of ways we could do this. I know that 75% is halfway between, between 10 and 20, so that means it must be 15. And my double check is, I know that 75% is 50% plus 25%. So 10 plus 5, yep, it equals 15. So on my double number line, you can see that 15 out of 20 is the same as 75 out of 100, or 75%. Let's imagine uh, this time I'm trying to grow some seeds as part of a science experiment. So as part of that science experiment, I plant 32 seeds. Now of those 30 seeds, four of them begin to grow. I want to work out what percentage of these seeds has started to grow. So I'll draw my double lum number line again. At this end, I'll write 0, and at this end, I will write 100%. Well, I know if all my seeds, all 32, grow, that, that would be 100%. So from that, it's easy to work out what 50% would be. It's going to be half of those 32, which would be 16. Now I can also work out what half of that would be. That would be 25%, and half of 16 is 8. So we're getting closer, but we're not quite at 4 yet. Well, it's easy for me to work out 4, though, because half of 8 is 4, and half of 25% is, I'll write this down here so we've got a little bit of space, 
percent. So 4 out of 32 is the same as 12.5 percent. Now let's try one which is a little bit different. Let's imagine we're at a sports club and that sports club has bought in some pizzas and there are eight slices in each pizza. Now this sports team eats 20 slices. So you can see from just looking at that that if there's only eight uh, slices in a pizza and they've eaten 20, they must have eaten more than one pizza. So we're going to get an answer here which is more than 100%. So let's start by doing what we did just the same as last time. There's my number line. I'm going to write zero here and I'm writing 100% here. So what would be 100% or one whole pizza? Well, if they come in slices of eight, eight pieces out of eight would be eating one whole pizza. <clears throat> so 16 pieces must be eating 200% or two whole pizzas. So now I'm going to work out what three whole pizzas would be or 300%. Well, it would be another 8 slices, because there's 8 slices in a pizza, so that would be 24 slices of pizza. So you can see from my number line here that halfway between 200 and 300 is 250 percent, and halfway between 16 and 24 is 20. So you can see that 20 slices is the same as 250%. And I know it seems strange seeing a percentage which is more than 100, but all it means is they've eaten more than one whole. In fact, in this case, they've eaten more than two whole pizzas, but less than three whole pizzas. I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.